Let's find coordinates of in center of triangle when vertices of triangle are given. First of all, what is in, in center of triangle? We can inscribe one circle inside triangle which touches all the three sides of triangle. In center is center of that triangle. So this is circle inscribed in triangle. So let's circumscribe triangle outside. Okay, now center of this circle is called in center and this circle is in circle of triangle. This is in radius small r of triangle. At in center internal angle bisector of triangle are also concurrent. So if we join vertex A to this in center, then this line is angle bisector of A. Similarly, if we joined B and I, then this line bi is angle bisector for angle b and similarly if we join c and i we have this ci line which is internal angle bisector of angle c so at in in center internal angle bisectors of triangle are concurrent also it is center of in circle which touches all the three sides of triangle now in center of triangle always lies inside triangle whether triangle is acute angle, obtuse angle or right angle. Let's see one important geometry related to in center or in fact angle bisector of triangle. Consider one acute angle triangle ABC. Let's draw angle bisector BE. Now there is one important geometry about this angle bisector and that is this angle bisector divides side AC at point E in the ratio which is A upon EC which is given by ratio of adjacent sides that is AB upon BC. For example, if we draw angle bisector for angle A, then this bisector divide opposite side BC in ratio which is BD upon DC which is given by ratio of adjacent sides of triangle that is AB upon AC. So let's prove this fact. Let's draw uh, one line parallel to line BE from vertex A. Extend BC. Suppose this extended side BC and the line parallel to B from vertex A intersect at point D. Now angle DAB will be equal to angle 
A, B, F. Okay, these two angles are same. If we mark this, then this angle and this angle are equal. Okay, further, since this line and this line are parallel, this angle and this angle are also equal. So, we have these two angles equal. So, triangle ABD is isosceles triangle. So, we have BD is equal to AB. These two sides are equal. Now, since these two sides are parallel and this angles are equal, triangle BCE is similar to triangle DCA. Then we have EC upon AC is equal to BC upon CD or EC upon what is AC? AC is sum of AE plus C is equal to BC upon what is CD now? CD is sum of BD and BC. But we have already proved that this BD is equal to what? AB. So in this replace BD by AB. So we have EC upon AE plus CE is equal to BC upon AB plus BC. Now using property of ratios we have EC upon AE is equal to BC upon AB. We have this property A upon B is equal to C upon D then we can go for a upon A minus B is equal to C upon C minus D. So, we here we are subtracting numerator from denominator both sides. This is one of the properties of ratios. So, we have proved that EC upon A is equal to BC upon AB. That means angle bisector of B divides opposite side AC in the ratio of adjacent sides. Adjacent sides are AB and BC. Using this property of angle bisector, we can get coordinates of in center. Consider triangle ABC with vertices x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. In this triangle, Using standard notations of sides, side length opposite to angle A is uh, small A, side length opposite to angle B is small B and side length opposite to angle C is small C. Now we want to find coordinates of in center. For that, let's first target point D. How we can find coordinates of point D? Now D lies on BC. We have coordinates of B and C. So we can get coordinates of point D if we have ratio BD upon DC. Just now we proved that BD upon DC is equal to what? AB upon AC that is small c upon small b. Now we have ratio BD upon DC and coordinates of B and C. Then we can get coordinates of point D using section formula. So using section formula, coordinates of point D are B will multiply with B and C will multiply with C. So we have BX2 plus CX3 upon B plus C, comma, by 2 plus c y 3 upon b plus c. So we got coordinates of point D using section formula. Now to get coordinates of I we will consider line AD. In this AD we have coordinates of A 
and d so if you want to find coordinates of point i we should have ratio ai upon id how you get ai upon id now if we consider triangle a b d this triangle in this triangle bi is angle bisector then in triangle abd we have ai upon id is equal to what ab upon bd using same property of angle bisector which divide opposite side in the ratio of adjacent sides that is ab upon bd now ab length is small c by notation but what is length bd we don't have length bd so we have to first find length bd any idea how we find length bd we have ratio bd upon dc that is c upon b so length bd is equal to ck and length cd is equal to bk now if we add bd and cd so their addition will be k times b plus c and what is bd plus cd that is length bc or small a from which we have value of k so value of k is a upon b plus c and if you put this value of k here we have bd is equal to ac upon b plus c so in this ratio ab upon bd we have c upon ac over b plus c that is b plus c upon a so we have now ratio ai upon id which is b plus c by a now we have vertex a coordinates of uh, d and ratio ai upon id so we can get i using what section formula so uh, let's draw one different diagram for a i and d this is a which is x1 comma y1 here it is d which is this okay now i is somewhere here and this ratio ai upon id is b plus c upon a so coordinates of i will be a will multiply with uh, a and b plus c will multiply with d so using section formula coordinates of i are a times x1 plus b plus c times fc of d similarly we have y coordinate simplifying we have in center ax1 plus bx2 plus cx3 over a plus b plus c similarly y coordinate that is a y1 plus b y2 plus c y3 upon a plus b plus c so if vertices of triangle are given we can find in center where a b c are what length of sides opposite to angle a b and c 
find in center of triangle having vertices 1 comma 2 minus 2 comma minus 3 and 2 comma 0. To get the in center, we have to first find the side length of triangle. The side length, this one is square root of 9 plus 25, that is square root of 34. This side length is square root of 1 plus 4, that is root 5. And this side length is 16 plus 9, that is 5. Then in center of triangle is by formula FCSA of A will multiply with side length BC and we have 5 multiplied by 1 plus root 5 will multiply by minus 2 plus root 34 will multiply with 2 and in denominator we have sum of sides that is 5 plus root 5 plus root 34. By similar pattern we can get y coordinate which is 5 multiplied by 2 plus root 5 multiplied by minus 3 plus root 34 multiplied by 0 upon 5 plus root 5 plus root 34. So, these are coordinates of in-center. So, to get in-center, we have to get all the side lengths and then we can use straight away formula AX1 plus BX2 plus CX3 upon A plus B plus C. Similarly, Y coordinate which is AY1 plus BY2 plus CY3 upon a plus B plus C. Since to get in center, we have to get side lengths. And here we can see that in center has irrational coordinates. So if all the vertices of triangle are rational or all the vertices have rational coordinates, what do you understand by rational coordinates? That is all FCSAs and ordinates are rational. Here, in fact, uh, all the points have integral FCSAs and ordinates. Okay, here, though all the vertices have integral coordinates, in center is irrational. This is because to find in center, we have to get side lengths. And side length can be what? Irrational because we we find side length using what? Distance formula which involves square root. It is not necessary that when the vertices are rational in center is always ir irrational. It may be rational. But we can say that when vertices have rational coordinates in center not necessarily rational.